Actually, the melody goes to the alto. Do, 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 do. And then, tenor, de, de. and go back to alto. Dun, do. And go back to tenor. De, de, da. We're harmonizing. It's, yeah. Sopranos. Yeah, right. Okay, 37. Do, do. Go. Little my God, to show and to proceed. Listen, my soul. Okay, do it again. Forty-five. Go. Listen, my soul. My best, my heart, easy to hear the melody. Oh, it's not very, very distinct. But that is the fun part of it. And that kind of reflects the whole idea of distant carefully. You know, that, that the formation actually <coughs> carry the message that the preacher tried to, to say, distant carefully. You're not going to hear the melody that easy. Okay, does it make sense to sing a song like this for that particular Sunday? Okay, okay. Now, I think I'm running out of time. Anyway, that's the idea. And this is for the week after. So we will have the chance to practice yeah. Sunday. Yeah. And there is a, another catch. I try to push people off balance, major 12. Live to thy God, to all the... I add a little bit there. Uh -huh. Normally, there's four, there are four bits in a major. Right. Here, I make it five. Live to thy God, to all the... To some people, this is the bad thing to do. This is wrong. <laughs> if you do it in, okay, so in a composition class, the teacher is going to say, get out of here. There's five beats in this one here. Live to thy God to order. Four, one, S1, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. In other words, we try to, to make that order very distinct. Try to emphasize that. Actually, you can, I can just put a formula there. But it's more fun this way. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the, the same place in the second verse, I do it in a different way. Listen, my soul, major 45. This, this, this is my soul, my best. I make it a half, no, half beat. That, way, that means the whole thing broken. Listen, my soul, my best. My heavenly friend, I didn't suspend them. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that. We'll practice this on Sunday. This one is the very, very first copy of this song. You're welcome to keep it. Okay. Take home, and you have a chance to, to practice, to learn it. And you know you have the very, very first copy of this song. If this song ever becomes famous, you have the first copy. <laughs> this is the nice thing about doing our own product. Yeah, this is actually come out of this church, this choir, for this choir, for this particular Sunday. So now we can say we had a first. <laughs> well, that would be one thing we could do. I strongly recommend, I strongly encourage everyone in this church what? to do this. <coughs> we write a little thing here and there and we can put together our song. Okay. And we sing our song. That is very close to our heart. And when we sing our song, it's more touching. 
it's easier to, to carry the message to our congregation. Is it that? Yeah. Yes. So I'll, I'll try to, to talk about this more and try to, we can mobilize our, our congregation for the thing like this. You don't have to be a good writer as long as you have something to say. Then somebody will put it together and make it a song. <laughs>